Hello everyone, greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on UFT. This is Neeraj Kumar Singh and you're watching UFT series tutorial. And today we are in output value. In the previous tutorial we spoke about standard output value which is generally for uh, extracting any object's multiple property or any property which can be extracted from a particular object. But today we'll be getting filtered with another set of output value which is called as text output value. Just like any uh, text checkpoint is going to be restricted to certain applications where the text uh, output value is applicable. Generally, it does not support uh, text, uh, oh, sorry, the desktop application. So you need to be a little careful if your application is not supported with this particular property and generally it is specifically meant for web-based applications. So yeah, you need, you need to be a little careful with that. So uh, all we need to understand is this is we, this output value will be limited to a particular object's text output, where it is not going to allow you to have any kind of extraction like the property, like x, y coordinate enabled or focused or in edit or whatever it is. So you will just have access to one particular value, one particular property of any object that is text. So. Let's quickly get started with the same and understand practically that how does it work when it comes to a particular test. So we've got a test here and all I would need is an application to kick start with the same thing and uh, you all I can do is here to click record to start working on the same. So let me just quickly log in into this. Say OK. So I'll be making use of a property. This is a desktop application, so do not get surprised that how this checkpoint works for me on a desktop applications because I'm trying with a certain value. If you really want to see the problem, you can go back to the standard checkpoint, or sorry, the text checkpoint of this tutorial series. That will help you to understand why it is not applicable to desktop applications. So let me just try uh, featuring some other values in the fields. I'm trying with the Portland, going with the Zurich in this fly to city. And if you want anything else, you can do that. So let's come to drop down, and here we see a text output value, which you can pick up and select the object which you want. And then it will just highlight here, this is the combo box object which you have picked up, and the extraction will be on the text. So from city, text out. If you want to modify, you can just switch and say fly underscore from. For any more details that what is data table and those things and you know what exactly is uh, this column, what is this parameter, you can visit the previous tutorial which will help you to give an idea. Say okay, uh, already exists, okay maybe I'm just trying to work on a different one. So say fly from underscore one and say okay. All right, now let's try with one more just to have a better satisfaction on the learning. Let's get a Sydney one here that is fly two and uh, let's modify and make it user friendly. It's not mandatory step team until unless you want it to be as per your naming conventions, you can be excused for this. Say so, okay and okay. And then you can close this application, stop recording. So generally I was having already these two parameters created, so let me just quickly delete this for you. And uh, we'll be having a separate tutorial to understand about the data table and the sheets in more detail in upcoming videos. So let's see how it works because we are extracting the runtime text from the application using the text output value. And uh, oops, I didn't give the application to it. Oh, you can do that sometime. Subject to you have enough time to do that activity. So we have got a Portland and Sydney output here. And uh, let's come to the data tab. That's the data tab is the place where you can see the runtime values. And uh, let's switch to this, and yeah, you have that, Portland and Sydney. So that's how the text output value can be fished. If you want, you can quickly just try with some other value. Maybe, uh, you know, we try with Paris, and uh, go ahead with uh, maybe uh, London, or maybe let's try with Denver. All right, so give the application quickly, and click on Run. Uh, that's just to show you that it works during runtime and has nothing specific to script. What we fetch into the application, it extracts from the application and gives you as an output. So now we've got a Paris and uh, Denver as an output. So let's quickly switch to data tab 
And yes, we have got Paris and Denver here. You can see that. So, all right, team, that was all from here today. Uh, when you talk about the text output value, it allows you to extract a text from the field and it can restore during runtime and fetch it to you when it comes to the result window. So uh, if you really want to extract any text and maybe fetch it to some external source or log it as a result output, you can do the same with output value. For any queries, any doubts, any clarifications, please feel free to comment below. I'll be always there to assist you with any further discussions on the same. In case you have not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel, which will help you to get updates on the latest tutorials of UFT and many of the technologies which will be coming up. Beyond that, keep learning, keep practicing, keep exploring. Till then, thanks for watching team. Happy learning.